course I did. Zork, the illusion fox, the greatest thief in all the land. They'll never find me. No one will. How you doing? <sighs> Hello there, Tangle. Oh, are you sniping? Oh, I love sniping. Sniping is literally my favorite and my best. You've never sniped before. But I can learn. Tangle, it's not that I'm not happy to see you. It's that I'm on the job right now. So, what do you want? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, get me out here. <clears throat> so I was playing this game, right? And I was just, you know, chillaxing, you know, relaxing all cool. And then suddenly my phone blows up and it's like, it's like people telling me, hey, have you seen the Sonic movie 2 yet? It came out! The Sonic movie 2 came out! And, you know, I was kind of hoping that my best friend would want to go see it with me. That sounds great. I'm on the job right now. Oh, come on, Whisper! It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity! Pretty please? <laughs> Fine. Fine. I guess I can go for one day. <gasps> Yay! You will not regret this. Now come on! Sonic Movie 2, away! <sighs> <sighs> Next time, we're swinging on the ground. No promises. Whee! <sighs> so, how do we get there? What do you mean? Well, you see, uh, I bought tickets and it may be, uh, very soon, so, um, I can't exactly get to the theater doing what I'm doing right now, so, um, how do we get there faster? Perhaps using the large leftover Eggman Empire vehicle that's sitting right there. Oh yeah! We are in an old Eggman bunker. But I guess we might have to actually, you know, <laughs> share that ride with somebody else, if you don't mind. I don't think I'll mind too much. That's good. That's very good. You're a very big brain. You're smart. You think smart things. I... Well, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's go! You lose track of your surroundings pretty easily, don't you, Tangle? Yep. When I move so fast and swing so much, it's kind of hard for me to keep track of where I am, so I don't even try anymore. Anyway, let's go! Next stop? Sonic Movie 2! Uh. Alright. I'll let the movie begin. Gosh, the movie was amazing! Well, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, come on! Don't tell me you didn't get hype! I saw you in the theater! Well, I'm not denying that. I'm simply saying that it had some issues. Like what? Down. Ah! Ah! Huh. Not exactly. Two girls out on a nice evening stroll, are you? You're smart. Hey, wait a second. You're that guy that Tangle was hunting earlier, right? <sighs> oh, crap. That was supposed to be a secret, wasn't it? Hunting, eh? You really thought you could hunt me, the Great Zorok? Hmm. Well, 
Uh, you ever heard the phrase, the hunter becomes the hunted? Yeah. That's you right now. Bring it, big hair! Yeah! Ah! Oh. You stay here. This is my job. What? I let you fight that guy alone? No chance! Plus, we haven't finished talking about Sonic 2 yet. The battlefield is no place to be talking about a movie. Pfft. You haven't told me why it's not a masterpiece yet. I need answers. Hey! Oh, you've got a weapon, eh? Bring it! Hover! Wait, what? Where'd she go? <sighs> Burst! <laughs> ah! I got him, I got him! Ah! Ah! Listen, I felt like the film's pacing was less than ideal throughout. Especially during that opening. The meeting of Knuckles and Robotnik? Rocket! No. That being said, who were those people that showed up with Knuckles when he first appeared? Come on, Whisper. The prequel comic explains them. You're going for a ride, buddy. Seriously, do you not even read the comics? Rocket! No, I kind of don't have the time. Besides, if it needs to be explained in supplementary material, I would consider that bad writing. Now hold on! I admit that the film is a bit shaky when it comes to the smaller details, but what about the character growth of Knuckles? What about Sonic's arc? What about the dynamic of the main three? Now, even I have to admit that was pretty well done. Enough! I am Zorak, and you will respect me! Pretty well done? That scene on the beach between Sonic and Knuckles is a defining moment for those two characters. It's beautiful, funny, and the perfect culmination of both of them. It's a touchstone for these films, and proof, if anything, that they can absolutely carry the flame of the series going forward. Uh, what? Did you really just hit me with debris? Rocket! Ah! And stop shooting me! You know what? That's it! Illusion mode! Whisper? Already on it. Lightning! Lightning! Got him. Wait, can she see? <laughs> Shock rounds, very effective. Which reminds me, why did it have to be the humans who used Tails as gadgets first? Oh, oh, I can defend this one. Okay, so the two actresses that played Maddie and Rachel. Uh, let me think here. Oh, yeah, Tika Sumter and Natasha Rothwell. Originally, they didn't have much to do in the first version of the script, uh, and they requested some changes so that they could actually have some more screen time. And I think that's a good thing! Actors should be allowed to get support like that, expressing their ideas for change, and those changes actually being implemented. Yes, and I agree. However, don't you think this robs us of letting us see Tails using those himself? I don't think I need to remind you that he's hardly there at all, right? You're going down! <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought Tails had great screen time! He, remember, he is Sonic's sidekick. However, um... Yeah, him being absent from a lot of the middle of the movie did hurt his long-term effectiveness. Especially compared to... Uh, go on. Knuckles. Knuckles is really good in this movie! It's just, you know, Tails didn't really get as much as him. Which is fine, because again, sidekick, but... Eh, still, they gave Knuckles an arc, and it would have at least been nice to see Tails' backstory play out, rather than him, him just telling us. I mean, we got to see young kid Knuckles in the movie, but we didn't see young kid Tails getting bullied. Not that I'd want to see that. <laughs> I got you now, bitch! Burst! <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is that the movie, while fun and fine in its own right, isn't really that great for audiences that don't really know what it's referencing. For fans, it's a fun time, but it's just bogged down by a lot of little issues. A lot of little, not necessarily plot holes, but definitely plot discrepancies, and it's just not the cleanest production. And I accept that. However, 
I think it's a flawed film that still works very well. It's a masterpiece to me, despite being so heavily flawed, and that's because I love and care about the characters. The conflicts are compelling, the way the main trio are presented is done with care, and the style of it all makes it feel truly monumental as a story. As a story that future fans will need to see. It's a Sonic movie that, well, filled with little issues, is proud to be a Sonic movie. As a movie going for that, it's more than effective. It's immaculate at representing these stories and characters and, well, these the people that we've grown up idolizing for so long. It's kind of like any good Sonic game in that respect, filled with a bunch of little issues, but it does the things that it does well with such charm and grace and style that you can't help but smile. Well, I can certainly respect your opinion on that. Agree to disagree? You don't even need to ask that question. Good. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a large, angry fox. Yes! You lead the way! I mean, he was your guy before I interrupted you with Sonic Movie. That's fine, I've gotten over it. Hover! Take me with you! Hey! <laughs> oh no. I can't help but notice you're still trying to escape, even though we kicked your butt. I respect the hustle, but please stop moving. We're going to bring you in. No. You will never take me in. I am the great no Zorak. And no one can ever defeat me. You got that? Cool story, bro. Anyway, my friend is now going to shoot you with spiky barbs. If you wish to not be hurt by those spiky barbs, then you will simply not move a muscle. Got that? What? Spikes! What is it with bad guys and not knowing how to listen to simple directions? I don't know. Man, your wispin always comes in handy. It is my job. I hope there's no hard feelings. Screw you! Hmm. Well, that settles it. Ow! Another successful victory for Tangle and Whisper! So what now? I take this guy in with you. Besides, I get to talk to people about Sonic Movie 2 on the way. What if they haven't seen the movie? Well, then they should go see it. You're all going to die. He's still talking. Sir, you're being very rude. If you don't stop talking now, I'm going to have to put you to sleep. Do you? Boy! Worse. <laughs>